Envelope distortion allows you to distort an object in real time. Note this must be a piece of floating clip art in order to distort it. This is really easy to spot because the clip art is always blue. Here you can see a wedge that I have created. I'm going to free this up using the relief cookie cutter tool in order for me to use the envelope distortion. The envelope distortion tool is located on the left toolbar between the mirror and the transform tools. When you open the tool, it will give nodes and Bezier handles, depending if you have maintained smooth curves turned on or off. If I grab one corner, it will allow me to fold the relief over itself. I can undo this and it will go back. The Bezier handles can also be moved to change the shape. Nodes can also be inserted like normal and these can be used as anchor points to actually lock the distortion to a specific area of the relief. In this example, I am going to create a flag and trying to get the fold in the middle. If the two end nodes are moved, it changes the whole flag, but it does give a fold. I need to select the two Bezier curves and bring them in. This will keep the overall width of the flag and create the fold in the center. Any other Bezier handles can then be moved to create a realistic looking flag. When happy, select finish and the clip art will be updated, leaving you in the transform tool ready for you to paste the clip art down to finish.